now go inside out as we welcome in our SNY NBA insider Ian Begley who joins us from Madison Square Garden. Ian, obviously a big concern when Julius Randle left the game in the second quarter. What was the feeling in the locker room? Yeah, no one was downplaying the significance of losing Randall. They're all star. They're all NBA player. Manuel quickly said that he checked in with Julius Randall before Randall left the arena today. And Randall was in good spirits, but quickly said, just like everyone else saw, the ankle sprain looked pretty bad on the replay. So I don't think anybody's expecting Randall to bounce back quickly. I don't think anybody's expecting him to be in the lineup when the Knicks play in Cleveland on Friday. We'll know more about the severity of it probably tomorrow. But yeah, no one downplaying just how big Randall's absence will be for this Knicks team. Well, the Knicks won their biggest game of the season despite minimal contributions from their big three. What kind of role did the bench play in the victory? Huge, huge. I mean, you look at that lineup in the fourth quarter, Michelle. It was, uh, I think R.J. Barrett was the only starter out there. The rest of it was bench players, the other four guys. And they were fantastic. Excuse me, Quentin Grimes was there too. But that five-man lineup played the entire quarter. Uh, Tom Thibodeau thought about putting Jalen Brunson back in for Emmanuel quickly, but quickly Grimes, Barrett, Hartenstein, and Hart were fantastic that the entire fourth. They held Miami at a 16 points. That was a big reason why the Knicks won this game, even when they were shorthanded. Well, Jalen Brunson returned to the lineup, uh, looked a little rusty. Uh, he only played 30 minutes and scored just 12 points. What did you see from Brunson? Yeah, I think rust, which is to be expected. I think it didn't seem like he was too limited with his right hand. He's got a hand sprain, and he's got what looked like a wrap on the hand, but it's his off hand. It's not a shooting hand. Didn't seem like he was too limited. Tom Thibodeau said they wanted to get Brunson back in the game in the fourth, but that five-man unit, again, was just rolling, and he said Brunson was totally fine with it. He's a team-first guy, and that's what makes him such a great leader.